Lovely. Hey there and welcome to Jeep Sheep TV. Chances are I'm a little dirty, so just forgive me. I don't know, I haven't looked in the mirror in a while. But hey, this is episode two of the $100 Wrangler body or YJ tub as I like to refer to it as. Okay, anyway, um, so today is nothing special, just some exploratory cleaning and grinding and cutting. Um, and so I flipped the tub on its side and you can really see what's going on in here. So essentially, and maybe I'm too close to it. There you go. Essentially everything in here needs some work, which we kind of knew that it's the floor of the Jeep. These are prone to failure. So the just quick overview, we've got an area here that I cut out. This is where one body mount is. And then we have an area here and that's where another body mount is. And so these areas here are gonna to have to be replaced for sure with something more robust than factory because they tend to rust out on all Jeeps. So you can see here, I have the word tube written there. This will end up being a steel tube, something with a thicker wall that is going to resist rust quite well. We see that the previous owner of this tub already started for us with some sheet metal replacement. And they actually did a pretty good job in a lot of these areas, so we might use some of this to uh, continue our work. I have the word redo written on here because I don't have any idea what this plate is doing here. Um, maybe it's a good thing to keep in, and I'll probably end up cutting it out and making this more flat and nice looking. And then if we come back here, we've got uh, some angle iron that has been welded into these corners, which is convenient because that is exactly what I would like to do to a lot of the corners. I want to utilize angle iron and the robustness of it, as well as the thickness. Um, that thickness is going to resist rust quite well. So they did a lot of work in here. I want to just kind of touch it up, fill a hole, you know, stuff like that, and just kind of explore under here. Um, make sure that we're not going to leave any crevices that are going to encourage more rust. Okay, and then we've got more body mounts down here that just need replaced and things like that. So that's where we're at today. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Same story from the front. Same story from the interior of the Jeep. Same body panels. We've discovered some Bondo here, which needs to go away. And then some of this needs work done. Um, I've got a little bit of a, nah, hold on. All right, just for some quick explanation, this series, the $100 Jeep Tub series is going to be an irregular series. And what that means is my normal Friday upload. It, this is gonna be outside of that. So. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to do it on a weekly, daily, you know, every other day basis, but it is going to be kind of as I create it, I'll put it out so you guys can follow along, which is a really good uh, reason for you to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you don't get notified of my videos and you don't know when they show up. So I try to have a video out every single Friday. This is going to be more random. And so hitting that subscribe and that little bell will notify you when these videos show up and you can watch my progress with this tub. All right. In the meantime, we have some exciting stuff coming up with the ambulance, and you can watch all of that in the Bread to Loaf playlist on the channel page. Uh, we're doing a lot of work on that ambulance in hopes that it will be more reliable and someday a really awesome camper. So go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, I will see you on the trail.